What's up guys, I'm the Coffee Explorer. I'm on a quest to find the best coffees in the world. Today, we're in the Teriabra region of Costa Rica. I've been told that some of the best coffee can be found in a coffee farm right down there in a place called Aquieres. Let's go on an adventure and check it out. So we're about an hour away from a coffee farm called Aquieres. Apparently Aquieres means land between two rivers and it's also at the base of a volcano. So that means the soil is very nutrient dense which helps the coffee grow to be very delicious. Apparently they are Rainforest Alliance certified which is a big deal. Um, they also have a carbon neutral certification which is um, pretty next level. I'm very proud to hear that so can't wait to taste this coffee tomorrow. It should be really good. So this is where the coffee farming family has decided to put us and it is absolutely gorgeous. Alright, Diego should be around here somewhere. Hey, hey! Diego? How are you man? Good man! Welcome! Nice to finally meet yeah. you! Yeah! What a beautiful place! Thank you man! Yeah. Welcome to Tokiaris! Heck yeah! We're a little hungry. You're a little hungry? You got some lunch? Dude. The farm was founded in 1890. 18, 1890, yeah. Okay. 30 years ago. Yeah. And at that time, it really was not the intent to make this like a town, yeah. was it? It was just like, this is where we farm. Because we need, we need farmers, build some wooden houses. Here, you live here, you work here. You live here, you work here. The church was built in 1925, mm. and it was actually imported from Europe. Our team is really solid because people love it here. Yeah. And um, and they feel, they feel proud when they see like... Uh, you know, container of coffee being exported. Yeah. You yeah. know, and it's like it's or, our coffee. Or maybe like the Pope. Huh? <laughs> or the Pope <laughs> getting the coffee. <laughs> or all these things. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah honestly. Uh, our employees work for us typically for thirty years. So there's very little turnover. That's yeah. nice. Very little. <laughs> like Oh, I'm so full. We just got done with that awesome lunch. Now Diego is gonna take us to the coffee mill and he's gonna show us around this beautiful, awesome little town. Let's go. Is that what it's supposed to look like? Yeah. <laughs> this is an experimental uh, processing method. So uh, there's, there's, no, there's not really any, any coffee in here. Okay. But this is uh, this is the mosto. We call it. it smells uh, really good. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> smells really good. Yeah. It's like it's awesome. So this is the the liquid that comes out of a fermentation of coffee. So it what, carries. Does it taste good? Good. Microbes and bacteria. <laughs> yeah, oh, it's like a, a cheese. I can do it, yeah. So it seems like um, something very unique about your coffee here at Aquiles. Um It seems like environmental preservation and conservation is very important to you guys. And it seems like you guys really set yourselves apart in that way. Mm -hmm. um, could you elaborate on that a little bit more? So we started with Rainforest Alliance certification. Rainforest Alliance certification. Yeah. What is that? So uh, that's, a, that's an environmental uh, standard that looks over different... Um, aspects of your coffee productivity chain which have to do with uh, the amount of shade used mm. to grow the coffee Sh in. Shade is in like actual actual shade, shade. like gotcha. having a canopy 
uh, of two different uh, elevations of trees that are native, that are giving shade to coffee. It's evolved to uh, become also one where we think of the water, the streams, the waterfalls, the rivers, have all buffer zones around them of uh, a forest. So they also become like natural corridors inside the farm. So uh, we started with Rainforest Alliance since 2003. We've been certified ever since. Wow. Okay, cool. So you guys took a step further. Mm -hmm. um, and it, it sounded like from what I learned earlier, you guys earned another certification, mm -hmm. uh, which is the carbon... Uh, neutral. Neutral. Carbon neutral. Yeah. Which is an, an, how long did it take to get that? That, that, was, not a, that was not easy. Uh, it took us a full year to establish a, um, um, a series of 50 different plots around the farm where we geo-referenced all the shade trees inside. What? And we measured the di diameter of the trees uh, the first year and then a year after what? to see how much they grow. Yeah. And with that, we can extrapolate the whole area. And we came out with a, uh, a number of 4,000 <laughs> tons of CO2, wow. which are absorbed by the farm each year. Wow. So our, our um, I guess our uh, footprint at the end of the year is we are reducing 3,000 tons of CO2. Hola, so it's cupping day. Super excited. I actually wore my SCA shirt because I'm such a coffee nerd and I'm so excited about today. So let's check it out. Woo! Can't wait to taste these. got done cupping that coffee and it was so freaking good i was not expecting it to taste that good but i mean shoot it freaking makes sense look where we're at we're at the base of a volcano on a piece of land between two rivers this place is paradise for growing coffee and it showed today on the table it was so good it's waterfall time dude i'm having like the best day of my life right now so this morning I woke up, went for a jog, and then we uh, we cupped those coffees, and those coffees were so good. So it's the river that runs through here. It has a huge waterfall, and it's a little off the map. Like, you're not going to be able to find it that easily if you search for it online. So expect to see that. It's going to be sick. Let's go. All right, we're crossing a little bit of a stream here. We are entering one of the, um, the forested areas. These are protected areas inside of Chiaris. 20% of our land is protected uh, with, uh, with forests like this. Here you have massive eucalyptus trees and we will be approaching a stream that also holds a small waterfall and the famous large Achates waterfall. Check this out.
this is what coffee looks like. It's pretty crazy. Um, so this morning we actually got a cup of coffee from this farm. Uh, they were actually really, really good. Some, some, the few of them were some of the best coffees I've ever had from Central America. It's pretty cool to be out here. Really love it out here. It's so quiet. You can't hear a car. You can hear someone talking from way over there. I can whisper and you can hear me. It's so nice. It's peace. Um, yeah, and coffee. <laughs> Look at this. What the heck? Why is this tree this color? Am I just, am I, am I on drugs right now? Why is this tree so many colors? Whoa. Dude, that is so cool, man. These trees provide shade for all of this coffee down here. So the leaves fall off the trees, and as you can see down here, they fall into the ground and they decompose into the soil. Well, of course, the plants uptake that, that nutrition, which helps the plants grow healthier, uh, and ultimately more delicious. Also, it actually slows down the um, rate at which the fruit on the trees ripen, um, which allow for more sweetness, more sugars to get into the little seeds. So another thing that might, might make this the best coffee in Costa Rica is the fact that it's hand-picked. A lot of the coffee that we have is picked by machines big like tractor looking machines will just flick the coffee off well uh whenever you hand pick it hand pickers are looking for the best cherries to pick they're not just picking you know all of them um so hand pick is more labor intensive but if you do it it yields more delicious coffee for sure so the coffee is shade grown the coffee is hand picked and it gets the benefit from two rivers that surround the land. And then that badass volcano up there brings a lot of nutrition to the soil. I think we have found the best coffee in Costa Rica. Such a sad day. Actually packing up today, leaving the Aquietas coffee farm. We had so much fun. Um, I really feel like we discovered some of the best coffee that this country has to offer. Um, such a unique experience, Diego, it was such a great time. Um, the cooks, they did so great for us. The coffee, the land, the animal species are beautiful. We saw this massive toucan this morning. It was crazy. But yeah, sad, sad to go. It's uh, you know, so nice being here. Super sad to leave. But today's the day, we gotta go back. Back home to Arkansas, here we go.